All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedy back with another Dokkan battle video and today we are going to be covering all the details for a new Dokkan Fest, Fizz Beerus, that's coming to the JP side of the game very, very soon. And just based on my initial impressions, he looks like he's going to be super, super OP. Like at least from a damage output perspective, this dude it's gonna be hitting insanely, insanely hard, all right? And there's also gonna be a new STR Weiss that's coming on the banner as well. We'll talk about him in just a second, but why don't we start here with the Beerus, and uh, of course, a huge shout out as always to the homie Goresh on Twitter. We appreciate you for all the work that you put in and everything you do for the community. Um, this dude's just freaking awesome. So thank you to Goresh for these translations. And Beerus is actually the leader of a new category called Explosion of Anger. I haven't really seen the characters, the units that are in this category, so I can't really comment on how good it is, but I would assume that it's at least pretty good to possibly OP, we'll have to see. So Explosion of Anger or Realm of Gods, uh, key plus 3, HP plus 130%, and attack and defense plus 170%. His super attack raises attack and causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense, so he infinitely stacks attack with every single super. And his passive is defense plus 100%, so not a bad defense boost right there. And attack plus 150% when performing a super attack, but that's not all, because he also gets attack and defense plus 70% within the same turn after receiving an attack and randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres and attacks effective against all when there is a realm of gods category enemy and on top of that he also has an active skill which gives him attack and defense plus 50% for one turn and attacks effective against all types and attacks always connect, which means that the enemy can't dodge any of your attacks. So uh, let's just take into consideration everything he's getting, right? So attack plus 150% when performing a super attack, and then attack plus 70% within the same turn after receiving an attack. He also raises attack every time he supers, so he gets stronger and stronger with every super attack as the event goes on. And then if he uses active skill, then he also gets an additional attack plus 50% and attacks effective against all types. So yeah, this dude is gonna be ridiculous from a damage output perspective. And defensively, he's not going to be bad either because he's getting 100% right off the bat and then 70% defense after receiving an attack and also, of course, an additional 50% defense with the active skill. And the condition for the active skill is that it can be used starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle when your HP is 70% or below, which really isn't too bad. I mean, 70% is, is a bit annoying, to be honest, but... It could be a lot worse in my opinion, so you know, fourth turn, 70% HP, that's okay with me. And his links are Godly Power, Prodigies, Connoisseur, The Innocence, Shocking Speed, Berserker, and Fierce Battle. Pretty standard Beerus link set right there. And his categories are Explosion of Anger, Realm of Gods, Movie Bosses, Siblings Bond, Worthy Rivals, and Bond of Master and Disciple. And uh, I guess that's all there is to know about the Beerus at the moment. But yeah, like on paper, he looks just so freaking insane, guys. And by the way, his animations are absolutely insane as well. We'll take a look at those in just a second after we cover this uh, Whis as well. Oh, so to recap, uh, the Beerus is amazing. He's just amazing. Attacks effective against all when you're facing Realm of Gods, but you get that guaranteed when you use the active skill and all these attack boosts and all these defense boosts and raising attack infinitely and also leading a new category, Explosion of Anger. Um, I could imagine like which units are in it, but I don't want to comment right now just in case I'm like super off. But uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be a decent category at least. And uh, moving on to the Whis, obviously not as exciting, but still pretty solid. His leader skill is Bond of Master and Disciple, category key plus 3, HP, attack and defense, plus 120%, super attack, causes supreme damage and lowers attack and defense and also seals the enemy super attack. 
and is passive as, a, as attack and defense plus 100%, great chance to evade enemy attacks, defense plus 50% within the same turn every time an attack is evaded, and also all allies attack plus 50% and recovers 10% HP at the end of the round if there's a character whose name includes Beerus attacking at the same turn, excluding Weirus. Uh, Link's Godly Power, God Cold Judgment, Connoisseur, Gentleman, Shocking Speed, Rival Duo, Fierce Battle, and categories are Bond of Master and Disciple, Realm of Gods, and Siblings Bond. Uh, yeah, this this Whis actually is really, really good as well. Um, good boosts on the passive, uh, seals enemy super attack, lowering attack and defense, and also recovering HP, and also great chance to evade enemy attacks, which is somewhere between 50 to 70%. I'm not 100% sure about that. I would have to check, but a really, really good chance to evade attacks, and also getting an additional 50% when you evade attacks. Um, yeah, can't complain. Oh, by the way, it's all allies. I don't know if I said that. All allies attack plus 50%, so he becomes somewhat of a support unit. Actually, a really solid support unit when you have uh, a Beerus on the same rotation. So yeah, he is a really good card as well. And uh, let's move on to the official Dokkan Twitter page where we're going to take a look at these animations now. And uh, like I said, guys, they're really, really beautiful. Kudos to Akatsuki and Bandai as always. They've really been killing it recently. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to shut up and let you guys enjoy the animations. And then we'll talk about them a bit after it's done. All right, here we go. Absolutely unreal, man. I mean, Whis's face really freaks me out in the beginning. Uh, I'll go back a little bit. Like that, 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 that expression, man. It's like I'm a murder you right now. Like he looks like he's ready to kill somebody. Um, <laughs> but aside from that, it looks pretty good. Nice animation for Whis. Nothing too crazy. But the Beerus animation, man. The voice line. The voice sounds great. Um, perfect voice acting, which hasn't always been the case in the past. I mean, the Japanese voice acting has always been like pretty good. The, the English one is kind of iffy. Um, but yeah, good voice acting, amazing animation in my opinion. It looks just really, really dope. Um, I especially love that KO screen. The KO screens have always been uh, really good for the recent characters we've gotten, like right there. And uh, what else can I say, man? What, I, what else can I say? They're Animations are just getting better and better at this point every new character that's being released has one of the best animations in the game Because they just keep one-upping themselves. I, I don't think it's on the same level honestly as the LR Gogeta Blue or Vegito, especially not Gogeta, but um, You know, it's it's close. It, it's right there. I think so amazing job to Akatsuki amazing job to Bandai and uh, I love it man I really do. It just looks so freaking clean. So that's it, guys. That's pretty much going to do it for the video. Um, I don't have any additional information to share with you at the moment, I don't think. So uh, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch the video. Let me know in the comments down below if you're hyped for the new Beerus and Whis, especially the Beerus that's coming to JP. And uh, let me know what you think about their details, man. I think Beerus is going to be absolutely ridiculous just he's gonna hit so damn hard while being very very effective defensively as well i'm sure and uh, it's gonna be fun to use that active skill and just like <laughs> you know hit some ridiculous ridiculous numbers so that's gonna be fun for some showcases stay tuned for those and uh, i think Whis is pretty damn solid as well man these uh like non dokkan fest new units that are coming with the dokkan fest units or with the dokkan fest banners um, at this point are all gonna be like very very good units so yeah no complaints about anything I think it's gonna be a great celebration uh, obviously not like as hype as the five-year stuff just because 
anniversaries are the most hype animations or animations, most hype celebrations um, in gacha games. But uh, it, it's nice to get such a dope character um, right after the five year festivities. All right, so that's gonna do it for the video. I know I'm rambling. Thank you guys once again for watching. I appreciate you taking the time to click on this video as opposed to doing literally anything else with your time. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.